my opinion the recording there we go Just let me see the quest we're going to be going. This, it's on the way. Main quest, secondary quest, knife for hire, 44. So one worth. The devils in the machina should prove to be easily. <laughs> No, ni despertate, arriba, no, para, arriba. para, no me la igual, este día no tenemos tiempo. Arriba, arriba, ya me debe algo. <risa> Si vas a dormir, apaga el coso porque me consume el gran ancho. So, let's see. This one is worst. So, I drop it. This one is. The same. This one, we equip this one, and we drop this one, and drop this one, and we equip, and drop this one, and nothing else. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh yeah, I remember. I was. I wanted to try to find one of these exclamation marks. Okay, let's go that way. Road should be. Well, should appear somewhere around here. The moment I summon him. There we go, we can run again, awesome.
The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully, when I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind, I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Hmm. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. You sure definitely. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh! <laughs> do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? See what we have here. Legs broken. The cause of death's the wound. Small but deep. Edges unafraid. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Wait! I will come with you! Mm. Gotta be kidding. This isn't a garden romp. Whatever killed him is damn dangerous and... And, and it might still prowl the area, so if it's all the same, I prefer to accompany you. Mm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Yeah, you didn't kill me, asshole. Yeah, I'm almost sure he killed him. But I may be wrong, don't know. Trail leads to the house on the hill, which stands silent as a grave. Yeah, and that is you. Okay, yeah, Roach. What's up, man? Gates locked from the inside. Clearly been jostled, though. Something tried to get out. The very thought sets a cold wind down the track. Yeah, that fits it. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. So he claimed through... He claimed the wall. Damn it. Good gods! Yep. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods! Silver tableware. Oven engravings. Silver tableware. Oven engravings. Servant. Stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. 
Best play was identical. Throats massacred, one mighty blow. Shield along sides all indented, swords ceremonial, and Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices. Aqua, please do not say humans. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices. Aqua, please do not say humans. See if I can equip. I can equip those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I want my run guns. So few non-humans in Tucson. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Mm, you call that flame? Doublet scorched. Wrinkled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Perhaps there's no one inside after... I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred to Fasadi. We were staging this scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but but in the end, it uh, it could come. Who are you exactly? D Durant Fosher Plamondon de Saffron. Lord of these lands, and chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tutor. <laughs> we meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this, by its uh, first. Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgora, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, 
think I can reenact the pledge, the giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event, the surrender of Tucson's last elephant king. You will need at least three individuals. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a deal. Let's get to it, boy. Oh, I thought those were people also. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludwig upon the elfin throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vetha, the elfin king, hosted Ludwig in his own palace upon his own throne. Ooh, and it's the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Okay, and burn the shit out of it. Um. Two. And three. And four. And five. Fuck me, I forgot I had dropped those. Don't worry for the sirens. And set. Laid at Lutovic's feet, a loaf of linen, an elf and bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Make ceremonial bowls with elven wine. We know it. The sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Don't interrupt. Long last, the elven king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. I suppose I got to equip those. Okay, no, I don't have to equip those, maybe? Yeah, I have to equip those. Sorry, guys, but I shouldn't have been so. How the fuck am I supposed to draw this? The elfin king, erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutofik then spake. I thought it was spoke. <laughs> and she'll return in one year's time to... 
Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Whoa! I got fucked. Got fucked up. Fuck you. Another fucking loading screen, motherfucker. I need. I need alcohol. <laughs> fucking shit. I need alcohol. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Stream a house on luck battle, just one life. Great respect for those guys, seriously. You got nothing but respect for them. So where are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuckers. What the fuck am I supposed to be this shit? Mm -hmm. I'd like to know that. Fuck. What the fuck? Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, because you're going to shit yourself. Push to have pain, but it's a lot of force.
fuck you. Gotcha, there's the charm. By what witchcraft? Dunno, specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I, I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethev. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. Yeah, man, you should. <laughs> this Defethev was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage, columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards to so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Psh. Hmm. Beasts dead. Path awaits. High time I was on my way. Hold, Master. Please, take this. A safe journey to you, Witcher. Thank you, my friend. Once again, a nice change of pace. Though they kill me twice. 